The sudden passing of Nigerian gospel singer Osinachi Wanchuku has shocked Nigerians and several Africans familiar with her incredible talent. At first, news broke that the 42-year-old married mother of four passed on after battling an undisclosed ailment later reported as throat cancer. However, 24 hours later, a new report surfaced that the renowned singer with a powerful voice who is known for her biggest hit single, Ekweme, had been on life support in an Abuja hospital for two months, fighting for her life after her husband kicked her on the chest during a recent attack. She sadly gave up on Friday, April 8, 2022. Osnachi's sudden passing and alleged abusive marriage most of her fans are unaware of has shocked the African Christendom across the globe. This began after her family and close friends started crying out and talking about what really happened. According to them, the singer didn't die of complications but actually from an injury caused by her husband. Osnachi's sister, during an interview, cried out that her husband didn't call the family right away after her demise for several hours. He only attempted to do so on the evening of her passing by calling her younger brother and casually mentioning that his sister had passed away. Before now, we told her that they are not divorcing, that it's just separation, but she felt that God is against divorce. We told her that separation is not a sin, but just for her to stay alive and take care of her children. She will always tell us to relax and that the man will change. After several people who knew the singer personally corroborated what she had been going through in a marriage, her husband, Mr. Peter Wanchuku, got arrested by the FCT Police Command and was taken in for further investigation on Sunday, April 10th. Who is Osnachi Wanchuku and why has a sudden person broken many hearts? Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Sister Osinachi Wanchuku, as popularly known, was born a twin on the 12th of November 1979 in Iswochi in Abia State, Nigeria, where she lived and grew up with her twin sister and other siblings of six sisters and a brother. Though a very private person, the Black Beauty was a well-known Nigerian singer, minister of God, songwriter and producer of Christian worship music. She was called a spirit-filled Nigerian gospel artist and songwriter with a voice of fire. Though she sings mainly in the Igbo language, her powerful voice is familiar across Africa. Osnachi shot to fame with her hit single, Ekweme, in 2017, which has been watched 72 million times on YouTube. Right through her career as a gospel singer, she has featured in some popular gospel songs like Nara Ekele by Pastor Paul Eneche Dunamis Abuja and Ekweme by Prosper Ochimana and You Know They Use Me Play by Ima. Before her sad death, she was a lead singer at the Dunamis International Gospel Center. According to her sister, Favor, she said her husband, Peter, met her at one of the events where she went for a ministering program and fell in love with a person. Within months, they were married and moved to Abuja. Today, they have four children, three boys and one girl. Peter became a manager and reportedly took charge of how she did things, including a singing career as she gradually shut everyone off. A sudden passing just a week after she dropped a new song sparked heavy controversies with new claims about the real cause of her death and all fingers point to her husband, who several reports claimed abused her for several years. Based on this report, close friends and associates suggest that a violent union led to her untimely death. Nigerian Afro High Life Praise, worship singer and songwriter Frank Edwards has described the husband of the late gospel singer as a control freak and an abusive husband. The singer, who is also a close colleague, made several shocking revelations a day after her demise. He cried out in pain during an Instagram live video and alleged that the late singer had an abusive husband who regularly brutalized her. He said the singer was secretive about what she was going through in a marriage despite all this. She couldn't even tell people what she was going through. I only got to know because Auntie Joy contacted me to promote a song. That was when I got a glimpse into what was happening. Frank Edwards said on several occasions that Osinachi's husband was in the habit of publicly humiliating, insulting and abusing his wife. Yes, my heart is broken but it's what it is. I just feel like it's too much for one person, the loss that I've had this season, it is too much for one person. So I didn't know why she stayed. You know, and you know, so I, I have heard some people say, um, why, uh, why didn't you, uh, why didn't some people speak out on this? It's not like that. 
if someone cover what cover their marriage then you can only advise them you can't bring their own marriage issue to social media they can sue you they can't now bring their own marriage issue you know recounting an encounter with the singer he said one time in a studio, this man slapped her just because he wanted to record a song in Igbo against his will. She does not do anything of her own. She would say, please beg my husband. Frank Edwards cried that she was at his mercy and he didn't know the intensity of what she was going through until it ended her. Frank Edwards also recalled one time when someone wanted her to cover an event, he contacted her but she said, beg my husband. The other time someone wanted me to get her for for an event and then she was <laughs> she wanted me to say to the husband that the event was free because if the husband knew that they were going to pay her she said he was going to collect the money and I said this thing is too, the control is too much how do you resolve this thing how do you resolve at the end of the day the person ended up, ended up not inviting her you know, so it's a pity. The singer also claimed that the control was too much, even to the point of keeping all the money she made from events and appearances. The truth is, I didn't even know that it has gotten to the point of physical abuse. But what I kept saying is that the control was too much. The control was too much. Frank Edwards also narrated how the former managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, Joy Nune, once gifted the singer a studio in Abuja. Still, her husband never allowed her to use the studio simply because it was built without his permission. I didn't know how somebody could be jealous of their wife they claim to love, he added. Osinachi's elder sister is also talking and has blamed the husband for the cause of her sister's death. In an interview with Vanguard on April 10th, she said her sister did not die of cancer but rather from an injury she sustained at the hands of her husband. We told her that separation is not a sin but just for her to stay alive and take care of her children, she will always tell us to relax that the man will change. So when the man kicked her in the chest, she fell down and he took her to the hospital but he did not even tell us. Speaking with Juliet Ume, Miss Favor Made also alleged that her sister was poorly treated by her husband before her untimely death. She revealed that since the singer married Peter, she has never visited their village in Abia State. The only time her husband allowed her to visit was in 2017 during her father's burial. Her sister claims that her husband doesn't allow any of her family members to visit their Abuja home ever since she got married. Miss Favor also revealed that according to doctor's report, her sister passed away due to a cluster of blood in her chest which developed from the kicking she allegedly got from her husband. She said a close friend called Osinachi's twin sister to report her interaction with her husband who hit her on the chest and took her to the hospital. It was the hitting on the chest that killed her. My brother had to ask the doctor what killed her and the doctor said that there were clusters of blood clots on her chest. Unfortunately, they did not tell the doctor she was kicked on the chest because the doctor could have known what to do if he knew what happened. She cried. Looking at the sister's marriage, she added, Each time we talked to her, she would be pleading for peace and if we move to act, she would tell us no, that we should calm down. Narrating the singer's twin sister's toxic encounter with Peter when she visited her at the Abujal hospital days before her passing, Favor said, Osinachi has a very soft heart, even her twin sister is more courageous than her. When her twin sister visited her in a sick bed in the hospital, Wanchuku didn't allow her to stay with Osinachi. Then Osinachi started begging the husband to allow her sister stay because she was passing through heart pain. The man refused. There, Wanchuku ordered her out of the hospital. Osinachi then begged the sister to leave for peace sake. Miss Favor added that her sister's husband, Peter, who is from Newi in Anambra state, doesn't have any profession. However, claimed to be her sister's manager, managing all her social media accounts and businesses, managed her gigs and event money was paid into his own account. He wouldn't take things lightly if her sister didn't comply. He managed her money badly and was unaccountable with her finance and how money was spent. Speaking for justice, Edward said Mrs. Nune, a lawyer, has promised to take up legal actions against Mr. Wanchuku and he will see that he gets justice. The gospel singer also advised women in abusive marriage to take a long walk and return to their parents' homes. I am not a married man, but I cannot advise anyone to stay where they have been physically abused. 
you might not get a divorce immediately. Just live to save your life. The new revelation and circumstances surrounding Osnachi's death have sparked several reactions from Nigerians and everyone who knows her music across Africa. The Lugbe Police Division finally arrested Mr. Peter Wanchuku on Sunday, April 10, after the younger brother of the late singer reported a case of suspected homicide to the police. According to Osinachi's family, after several people who knew her personally all cried about their abusive relationships, her husband got arrested on suspected culpable homicide, and an investigation into the matter began. <laughs> What do you think about the story of renowned gospel singer Osnachi? Based on all the allegations, do you think her husband sent her to an early grave? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.